All right, so today I'll be showing you how you can properly use the Proton Pass Password Manager app. I'm going to be making this video using my Android phone, so I'm not sure if it's going to be the same for iPhones. But uh, if you have access to the app, then you should try it as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you click on the link, it will take you to the Play Store, the Google Play Store, where you can easily download the app. And after you download the app, just open it. Okay, so you have the option to create an account or sign in if you already have an account. I already have an account, so I'll be tapping sign in. But for those of you who don't have accounts yet with Proton Pass, you can use your Gmail email address to create an account, or you can also create an account with Proton. Proton is like a platform on its own. It's like a Gmail platform, only that um, they focus more on privacy. So you can create an entire Proton account for yourself and use that to log in. So if you tap create account, you see it says email. So from here you can enter your either your Gmail email address or if you have the Proton email address, you can create that as well. I've made several videos about Proton emails, so maybe I'll leave them in the description so you guys can see. Okay, so after registering, you just need to sign in. So I'm going to tap here to sign in and then I'm going to enter my username and password. All right, so I've entered my username and the password so I'll tap sign in next. Next, I have to enter my two-factor authentication code. You won't see this if you're using Proton for the first time and if you have not set it up yet. So if I don't have a tutorial on that already, then I'll show you guys, I'll make a video showing you how to set up two-factor authentication for Proton as well. Okay, so I just entered the 2FA code. I'll tap authenticate. All right, so I think I've been logged in. I'll tap allow for now. All right, so with all this, just tap not now, not now, and then you tap start using Proton Pass. I already have a password with Proton Pass, but I'm going to delete it so that uh, it's going to look the same for you as well. Okay, so I just cleared the password, and this is what you should see if you open Proton Pass for the first time. So, what you want to do is to turn on autofill. Maybe you accidentally tapped here to remove this notification. Well, you can easily just come down here to your profile icon. Then you tap this to enable autofill. I'm currently using Bitwarden. This is also a password manager, but um, you won't see this. All you have to do is tap Proton Pass. Then you tap OK. So from now on, Proton Pass is going to be your password manager. All right. so. What you want to do now is to start importing passwords. Now, for most people, you already know your passwords, so you can just enter them here. But uh, if you don't know your passwords and maybe you save them using Google Chrome or you are coming from another password manager, well, I've made tutorial videos on how you can import your passwords from Google Chrome as well as Bitwarden. So I'm going to leave a link to those in the description. So, but if you already know your password, then all you can do is just come here and tap create login. If you don't see these buttons, you can press this plus button down here. So after that, you tap login. Okay, so let's say you want to create your profile, like your password profile for Facebook, for instance. Well, over here where it says title, you can call it Facebook. So Facebook, if you have multiple Facebook accounts, you can be creative, you can just Right, like give it a title that will remind you of the Facebook account that this is attached to. Let's say I have a Facebook account for click and tap. So I'll call it Facebook, click and tap. All right, so over here, I'll put the username for my Facebook account. So let's say the username is click and tap. And then I'm going to enter the password. So I'm just going to enter one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just say this is the password. Over here... <laughs> Uh, it is it is even telling us that the password is vulnerable because this password is not very strong. Um, Proton Pass can help you generate very strong passwords, which I'll be showing you very soon. Okay, so next you enter the website where the password can be used. So since I'm doing it for Facebook, I can just enter facebook.com after entering HTTPS. So when I do that, I'll get back to the video. For this part, you can enter the 2FA code to any website that you're registered with. I've made a tutorial on this as well, so you can check the description to see how this works. Okay, so after you're done entering everything, you tap create. And as you can see, I have created my first password profile. 
Okay, so let's say this is the Facebook page. I know this is not Facebook, but I'm just giving you an example. So if this was Facebook and you want to log in, it's asking you for your password. Let me refresh. All right, so if this was Facebook and it's asking you for your password, if you just tap password, you'll see this button down here, either this one or this one. You can tap any of them and uh, let's tap this one. And you see it is showing you this option here. So if you tap it, if this shows up, just tap use always. Well, you can see that the username has been entered. Normally it's supposed to fill the password as well, but uh, I don't know, maybe this website has an issue with that. So I'll do the same thing. And now the password has been filled. Now I can't show you the password because this website doesn't have a way to show you passwords. So yeah, just know that it is going to autofill the password for you. And then you just need to tap login. So this is the password that I deleted earlier and I'm going to restore it. So if I head back to the general page, you see now I have two profiles. This is for Facebook and this is for Twitter. This is for my real Twitter account. So what I'm going to do now is to open Twitter in a new browser so you can see how this works. And mind you, this one already has 2FA set up. So if I tap it, you'll see the 2FA code down here. Okay, so let's say I open twitter.com which is now X. I, I don't think I will ever be used to calling it X, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and tap sign in. You can see now it is asking me for my username and Proton Pass is down here on the keyboard. So remember this button was in the middle before, but now because it can detect that I have an account with Twitter, it is giving me the option to get the Twitter username. But you don't have to tap here. You can always tap this or this. If you have lots of usernames, you'll see them many here. So you, you can just swipe until you get to this icon here, if you want to use this one, but normally I just use this. So if I tap here, it's going to give me the option to select my Twitter username. So as you can see, my Twitter username has been applied. If I tap next, it's going to ask me to enter the password. Now, when I tapped the username from the Proton Pass, it copied another code, but this code is for the 2FA. So you can't use this. What I'll do now is just tap here and delete this because it's not the password. Next, I'll tap here again. And then it's going to, if I tap here, it's going to copy both the password for Twitter as well as the 2FA code. So if I tap here, you can see it has entered the password. I'll tap login and they're going to ask me for the 2FA code, but because it has been copied by um, Proton Pass, I don't have to go back to go and look for the code. I just need to tap here and then you can tap next. Okay, next is not showing up. And as you can see, I have been successfully logged into Twitter. So that is how Proton Pass works. It helps you out to, you know, enter your passwords and save passwords. Now, if you know that um, all your passwords are not very strong passwords, then you can log into your platform. Like I just logged into Twitter now. Let's say you want to change your password for Twitter because you are using, uh, not, because your password is not very strong. So just log into Twitter and then you head to the page where you can create a new password. So you can see it says current password. So if you tap here, you can get the password from Proton Pass. So I'm going to get the password. I can just tap here and tap copy password, go back, and then I'll paste the password here. Next, it says new password. So to create a new password, you go to Proton Pass. Then you look for the Twitter profile that you have created. You tap here. Then you tap edit. You can see over here it says password. You tap it. And then you tap this X button down here. Then you tap generate a new password. So you can generate a new password from here by just tapping a random password, anyone you want. And you tap OK. Then you can create the password. You can make it as many characters as you want. So it depends on the website you are creating the password for. So after creating the password, you tap confirm. And then you copy the password. Selecting everything, you can tap select all. And then you tap copy. After copying that, you tap save. Don't forget to tap save. Then after that, you come here to Twitter. Okay. Then you, you paste the password here. And then you, you tap save. 
the new password will be updated on Twitter as well as on Proton Pass. So this is how you have to do for all your profiles. You can do the same for Facebook. So hopefully this video was able to help you learn how to use Proton Pass. If it did, please let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.